she had the energy to absorb it and take it in. Catch me a Sunday with four muffins, 20 cookies, <laughs> and a bigger smile on this face. Like if you do this at like six, seven weeks out, it's a mistake. But the fact that I'm getting everybody to try the desserts that I'm going to have. So I think Claudia's gone for Kinder Bueno and Pistachio. Cardwell the same. Alex is up next. We've arrived in Milan. It was very quiet yesterday. The reason being is we ran 1200 calories, zero carbs. I think it was like 230 protein, um, 40 fats. So we was up at 4 a.m. and couldn't have a first meal till like nine. And every meal was just proteins and veggies. So the energy was nil, had 10k steps to hit. But woke up very, very sharp this morning. And we've been welcomed with Change the protocol for this peak. We've removed oats and we've gone cream and rice just for less fibre and easier to digest. Um, but today is loading day one. We'll maintain six litres of water across the day. Protein at 230, fats at 58, and then carbs at 745. So total calories 4,415. We've got a pump session later on, which is posterior focused. And then we have um, 10,000 steps to accumulate across the course of the day. So hopefully from this point onwards I'll be more alive. We watched everyone eat ice cream last night while I was on proteins and veggies but got a new flavour of cream of rice in cookies and cream. We've got berries, we've got honey and it's an elite meal. I made it perfect. 100 gram of cream of rice, 400 ml of water, microwave for 30 seconds till you get the consistency and we've nailed it. Might try the one later cold but we'll run you through and you'll see the meals. It's the same, same shit essentially, um, but just a slightly different approach without the oats. But, yeah, we'll see. I don't think you, what is that? That's one of the sweetest things you've had for ages, isn't it? And it's something new in my diet. Yeah. 14 weeks where I've had the same shit. trying to do I usually have two sweeteners in my coffee and that but I'm trying to come off it. How times have changed eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they actually have haven't they? When I do prep it's rehab for everyone isn't it? <laughs> Back to rehab. <laughs> BAU. Does, 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 does it all the favour man?
could just mass cook it and like literally spit it out. And we'll put this in the fridge we've got. Pre workout meal here. Oh, no. Which was also complimented by two squares bars. Spun chicken in it. Really. Look at the volume of it. Actually, quite nice. Gonna eat this, and then we've got the second to final training session of this prep, um, which is a full pump focus session. 90 seconds rest, max. The goal is just to drive as much blood flow as possible. Eat this little bit of pineapple, let it digest, and then we'll rock. This pump up feels a little bit different to the last. I think I've got a bit more energy. Um, I feel like the food's been used a little bit better. Um, and I think that's because I've been so meticulous with meal timings, but also changed the oats. I love oats, but in terms of like how they were sitting, it wasn't allowing me to keep control of that midsection. Um, my back feels like a shell. so far on the contact have been quite quiet and the reason for that is because post two bros we ran like 1900 calories for three days and then the 1200 yesterday and every day and every hour I felt the pain and one thing I will always say is I will never give directions on a destination that I've never been to and for me as a coach 
over the last three to four years I've spent so much time on education and self-development and building the brand with New Gem and Benbury coaching before that, that I'd almost took my foot off the pedal with my own journey, which was a very valid reason to do so. But in the process of that, I'd almost forgot what it was like to walk the walk. And what I've done this time around is, not just because I love bodybuilding and love the process of stepping on stage, because in truth, I have a lot of, a lot of shit happening in my life and this is a very selfish place to be. But it's made me not just a better athlete, but a much better coach. And I can comfortably say now, if I'm to put a client on 1,200 calories or 6,000, I've done that, I've been there. Um, and I've been there very freshly. So truly do believe walking in the walk has been significantly valuable. And one thing I will always, one, one thing I will say as well is like, regardless of the outcome on Sunday, I've got to spend this with the, the people closest to me. I'm in a beautiful country with beautiful people and grateful for every one of them. So. It's been an emotional final week of prep and this will be the final week. There's no shows after it. I made the confirmation that final week will be spent with family before black, flying back to Dubai on the 16th. Um, I've been selfish enough this year um, and for me now it's about giving back. But Decent session in a, in a very average gym um, but a very nice hospitality. So we're going to get back. We've gone for cold cream or ice when we get back in with some berries. I'm very much looking forward to that. And then we'll probably do a little bit more exploring, show you some more of Milan. It's a beautiful place. So. Bad mouth cream or ice before, but I've got a cookies and cream one. 130 gram. In order to get it perfect, what you need to do is times at 130 by four, which 500 and something. 130 times four, 520 of water. So you add 520 of water. Put it into a microwave. I personally do 30 seconds. Take it out. Stir 30 seconds. Take it out. People do a minute, but then you do run the risk of it going too cakey. And then I made this two hours ago, just put it in the fridge, got 15 gram of honey, 100 mixed berries. Digests a lot better. Midsection control after this is superb, whereas with oats, it's not. So I will be the first, I think I prefer it to oats. Now, I've been dieting 14 weeks, so don't take my word, but honey, 100 gram of berries, cream of rice, cookies and cream. I'm meant to have whey on it, but the whey is chocolate brownie, and the flavour's good enough. So we're gonna run without the whey, and of course a baby spoon to make it last longer. Dedication now. Time will come. Morning, Carl. Well, mate, we'll dine together. Day two wrapped up, so we've seen off the 750 carbs filled out progressively after each meal, which was good. Based off the visuals I sent Cal today, Cal doesn't throw compliments around very easy. And I was a little bit in the dumps after not winning the overall, I'm not going to lie, on, um, on Saturday. Because I feel like I'm a person who needs that kind of confidence coming into a big show like this. And I didn't get it. And he said, if we bring it in how I look this morning, with a sharpness, and bear in mind I'm on stage at 11, with full more fullness, which we'll regain from today and tomorrow, it's on for a pro card, which lit my fire massively. So we've just actually pulled from the final meal today, but only proteins and veggies. So we pulled the veggies completely, pulled the proteins. And what we're gonna do tomorrow is you'll see in the morning, 
but it's more than likely we'll keep the carbs high and then back off towards the end of tomorrow. Food around training and then evening meals pull back so that we wake up Saturday tight and on the money and then my forecast for Saturday is it'll be back to baseline. Keep some carbs in, maintain the look and then Sunday I think I'll be going on stage pretty much empty based on what you said today. Some fluid but not much, potentially some proteins and fats, maybe some cream or rice but we shall see. This is now where having a coach is invaluable because the decision making is out of the equation for me. If I was coaching myself, my head went last week. Um, I've come to Milan feeling a little bit lower and today has progressively made me feel better. We've got push tomorrow, we're gonna register at 9.30. We're gonna get the tan, I believe, Saturday. We are gonna head down and see Ludo tomorrow and train, um, get a second opinion off him. So things are spicing up now. One high day down, another one tomorrow, which focus may be a little bit lower. Hunger's through the roof, but fullness and the pop is back. So we'll see you in the morning.